What's up everybody, it's Joshua here reporting live for AYA and here is my review on Fortnite Battle Royale. You see, in just February, Fortnite Battle Royale has made over $126 million. And that's just in a month. You gotta think about it, that's more than $1 million a day. Um, so far, the amount of people that are playing Battle Royale as of May is 3.4 million players. As you can see, this here is the loading screen and some of the things or items you can purchase within the game. There, um, you can manage your pro profile, there's leaderboards, and even a replay system within the game. Um, here's some more V-Bucks, which is online currency in the game, which I think is very effective and the consumers love it. This is the loading screen, and this is how you jump into a game. As you can see, my little character can dance. That's a purchase that you can make within the game as well. So. I say we hop into it again. As you guys can see, um, once you have joined the lobby, you're automatically teleported or sent to this pre-game lobby where you can just mess around, build a little bit, and just have fun. Um, what's shown right here is the overall map itself, and you actually have access to this map within the game. And the only way to get onto the island is to jump off that bus, which in my mind is pretty creative. Just the end of it here. As I said before, you are skydiving to your location, and it's up to you where you want to go throughout the whole map. The most important thing to know about this game is that after a certain altitude or a certain altitude that you reach, um, your parachute right here automatically deploys and you must glide your way onto a map. Here the current location that I'm going to is called Shifty Shaft, which is right next to the top. Within the game there are many things, such as guns, obviously you have to kill somebody. Not sounding weird, I'm sorry. But here are chests which you receive or you gain guns and the whole point of the battle royale is to be the last one standing and the last one to survive out of 100 players. Um, there's shotguns, there's submachine guns, there's assault rifles, all type of variants of guns within this game. So the next couple of seconds of this game are me just going around looting and trying to obtain items such as bandages, materials such as wood, brick and metal um these materials allow you to build and just give you a better chance of survival To me the most creative of this game are the dances they've created or added onto the game which are purchasable they are ah three except one which is a starting dance but here are some examples there's the napoleon dynamite dance you can eat popcorn there's the orange justice which is called there's best mate and breaking point there's also the shoot which is pretty cool and that's the free dance that you're doing within the game Thing to keep in mind about this game is that it is an open map game. So what that means is you could go anywhere on the map except the edge where you could fall off and die. This here is an example of me building using the, the materials I have in the game and those are what I just opened is called a crate um, which just gives you access to a lot of loot. Moving on to something with a bit more action within my video is the actual act of eliminating an opponent within Fortnite Battle Royale. This here is a clip of me eliminating uh, another opponent or player within the game.
right there in that clip. In some cases, it might take a bit longer to eliminate somebody within the game. It varies on the type of weapon you have and the distance between you and the other opponent. And this is just me progressing within the game after obtaining my first kill. You may be asking, well Joshua, why are you burning so high? You see, when you have a higher advantage or when you have the higher ground within the game, it is easier to obtain a kill and beat your enemy. So, this is why I build high. There's an enemy right there that I've spotted and I have a sniper. But still, I choke and manage to not get the kill. Finally, it comes down to the top two, which is me and another player. I have a sniper and I have the same weapons that I've had before. However, he has some of the strongest guns within the game and I start to get a bit nervous. So let's see what happens. Also guys, one thing to keep in mind is that that circle around me is called the storm. You do not want to get trapped in it because if so you will lose HP, which is helpful. Eventually guys, what ends up happening inside of this game is you end up choking it and getting taking the L for this game. But thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.